All right. So, let's catch you guys up. When we last left off, Mahiru was bashed by a baseball bat. And the fucking... The game that I played, Ultimate Despair Girls, that's not that's the name of the dang and Rampa game. Whatever the game was I played at the arcade foreshadowed her death. In that game, a girl was beaten. Real life girl, by the way. I went back in post and looked at it. That was like a real actress. That was like a real life scenario. It was very off-putting. I was not a fan. It fucking was weird. That girl was bashed by a bat. And... There was a perv in that game. Soda is a perv in real life. Currently. I don't know who it could have been. I'll just say that. Soda is my number one suspect. We're not watching Magical Girl Mona Me. We don't need to see how she took down the beasts. Continue. Mahiro Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. And she was always straightforward. Dude, it is a cannon. Wait, that's not a cannon. What does that say? Cin cinema, cinema, towards us and towards herself. She was always facing forward. She was that kind of person. Why her? Why Mahiru? Why? Holy shit! Why did it happen to her? Soda, wipe that smile off your face. The muscles in my face stiffened and grew hard. Darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to wobble, and I instinctively placed my hand against the wall. Hey, Hajime. Before this, we were having a great time, right? We were excited to go to the beach. We were having a lot of fun. He's creating an alibi for himself. He's my number one suspect. He's like, all right, she's dead here. We were together, right? He's, he's creating an alibi for himself. We were excited to go to the beach. We were having a lot of fun. But why? Are you kidding me? Why did something like this happen? Someone tell me. Obviously, I don't know what's going on either. Oh. Huh? Ibuki? Have you not noticed? Oh, there it is. There it is. Now's not the time to make bubbles. Hurry up and get the others. Ibuki instantly left the beach house. I'm sure it took some time for everyone else to come here. They had to change and whatnot. It must have taken some time. But I didn't really know how much time had passed. My senses were numbed. My emotions were also numbed. Within me, various layers were peeling off. My senses started to run return. Around that time, I realized that the others were already here. Huh? What the hell is this? Ah! Why, Mahiru? The girls were standing outside the door leading to the beach, their faces pale with terror. Something like this. For heaven's sake, what in the world is going on? With their pale faces still intact, the girls began wobbling towards the beach house until a voice stopped them. Hold it. Hold a sec. Hmm. Hold on a sec. I don't say hold a sec. Uh, they, those things beneath you, be careful not to step on them. What? Beneath? See? You know, the footprints in front of that door. Oh! <gasps> footprints. Those are... The girls. What's her face? She, I fucking don't remember her name. I can't remember this girl's name for the life of me. I'm forgetting it all the goddamn time. What's her name? She, no, it's not her. Who is it? Who am I forgetting? Wait, where the fuck is she? Is there another list? Hyoko, that's her name. Hyoko, those are Hyokos. I can't fucking remember this, this name. I hate her. I hate Hyoko. Uh, that's probably an important clue. Those are probably Hyoko's because she fucking booked it out of here. Like Usain Bolt. Uh, so don't step on them. Huh? If you mean evidence... Monokuma mentioned it in the announcement, right? After a certain amount of time, we'll hold a class trial. What the? Hyoko with an H. Maybe I'll remember that. Maybe I won't. I'll, I'll fucking forget it. I'm gonna- I'm never gonna remember Hyoko's name. I hate Hyoko. Fucking 
Fuyahiko warmed up on me. Kyoko did not. Another class trial? Are you serious? Then are you saying this is... That's right. That's right. One of you guys killed her. Life. Killed? That's impossible. Hey, hey. It's not like an accident or something. Lie. If you guys think that's an accident, that still means this death was caused by someone else's actions, right? In other words. That also counts as a legitimate mur- That counts? That should not count. An accident? I guess it does count. But it's not a murder. Sometimes an accident is not a murder. If I leave like a rake outside and then someone steps on the rake and then like get, they get hit in the face and then they fumble and then hit their head on like a, the corner of like a cement table and then they bleed out and die. It's like what? I'm the murderer all of a sudden. I have to get charged with murder because I left a rake out. That doesn't count. That's an accident. That's an unfortunate circumstantial series of events. Yo, Sebas, thank you for the follow. Uh, thought such death. Uh, though such deaths fall into gray areas on this island, I'll make sure it's clear to you guys. Uh, on this island, dying from sickness is basically the only death that's not considered a murder. Well, it's impossible to get sick and die on this island. Not when Motomi takes such good care of people. Yeah, you're doing a great job, Monomi. What's this? Oh, speaking of which... Like this. There it is, the silent treatment attack. This is like the number one thing that hurts me. Ah. Well, fine, I'm not gonna lose to your bashing. I've decided to become a tough kid. <laughs> this is the worst. Once again, this horrible nightmare. Another victim, and it's all because of Monokuma. It's all because of you, Monomi. No you brought way. us here. If Monomi didn't bring us here, fucking. Geez, that's not my fault. Huh? Then whose fault is it, you ask? Yeah. To find out, we'll hold the class so... trial. Let's begin already. No whining, just begin. It's the Monokuma file. I shall pass out the Monokuma file. This should start to feel familiar. Do your best. Do your best to investigate. I'll see you later at the class trial. <laughs> class trial investigation. This is horrible. It's just too horrible. Hey. And you should have stopped the murder before it occurred. Where are all the girls at? I mean, all the guys. Like, me and Soda are the only guys who have spoken so far. Where's everyone else? Don't you have that kind of power? <laughs> that I did have the power before he appeared. Perhaps. Even if she tried to stop it, judging from Monokuma and Monomi's relationship, there's no doubt she'd get stopped herself. <laughs> yes, Monokuma took everything away, including the magic stick and the surveillance cameras. The only thing I can rely on are these ears, but they can only hear about three times that of a normal person. Basically. So, what did you hear? So basically, you have no idea what's happening on this island in the first place. <laughs> I'm just the worst. A powerless rabbit like me is the worst. <laughs> Too much crying from that, Monomi. Hey, now's not the time to focus on something like that. More importantly, what should we do? <laughs> do we have to do it again? That cruel thing, we have to do it again? Why? I cannot believe it. Mahiru was killed by one of us? <laughs> Yeah, I can't do this anymore. Investigating the class trial? Seriously, I'm done. Everyone feels the same, but we can't do anything else except do it. And there's no way we can just ignore the reason Mahiru was killed. Hey. Yeah, the only thing we can do is investigate. Because we should never forgive that. Killing is something we should never forgive. Chiaki. Well? The killer has their reason. This is a get- this is totally- like, opposite of Makoto. Makoto was like, Monokuma is the one who forced us to kill. I don't blame anyone for killing. Obviously, I'm sad and upset that they killed. But Monokuma's to blame. Blame. While Chiaki's over here like, nah, the killer's to blame. Fuck the killer. Never forgive them. The killer has their reasons. I understand that. It was the same for Teru Teru, too. It's not all Monokuma's fault. I understand that, too. It's really all Monokuma's fault. I understand that too. Oh, wait, there it is. But even so, we should never we'll forgive never allow it. killing. She usually has her head in the clouds, so for her to say something like that, she probably can't forgive this at all. But that's true of me too. Regardless, everyone is going to die if we don't do it. In order for us to all survive, we must do it. I'm gonna do it! Then let's do this! Perhaps. Muhiru probably wants us to do this too. She would have. She wants us to reveal the truth behind her death. <laughs> I understand. If everyone's doing it, I will do it too. But 
please forgive. Please give me a little time. Please give me time to calm myself down a little. Also, I will go and tell the others who aren't here about this. You're right. If all, uh, if all you heard was the announcement, you won't know where the murder took place. I shall excuse myself for now. Then let's begin. Who killed Mahiru Koizumi? Koizumi? Uh, why was she killed? We gotta find out and solve this already. I still don't understand the concept of the motive that was the game. Uh, that's right. We have to do it. It's the only way. I don't want to do this, but that's more of a reason for us to finish this. The motive is such a goddamn mystery. I'm the only one who can do this. Shit. First, I need to take a look at the Monokuma file. Okay, let's give this a sniff. She was hit in the head. Uh, 54101. The victim is Mahiru Kaizomo. Estimated time of death is around 3 p.m. What time is it now? The scene of the crime is where the body was discovered is inside the beach house at Chandler Beach. The cause of death is a single blow to the head with a blunt instrument. There are no other conspicuous external injuries and no trace of foreign substances such as drugs. Around 3 p.m. at the time Kazuichi and I arrived at the diner. That's the time me and Kazuichi arrived at the diner. Then if we had just gone to the beach house instead. No, now's not the time to feel regret. I need to focus on doing as much as I can right now. And then I'm going to find out the truth behind Mahiru's death. That's the only way the rest of us can survive. I got a truth bullet. No, no. Uh, who do I talk to first? Soda, where's your alibi? That's weird. What do you mean? Well, I wanted to calm myself a little or so I thought about getting a drink from that refrigerator. When I opened it a few days ago, I'm pretty sure there was a larger variety of drinks. Well, I guess I'm just imagining things. I mean, who cares about drinks right now, huh? What are you talking about? Seriously, if it's okay, I've resolved it on my own. So just drop it. What the heck? You started it. What? There's drinks? There's a wide variety of drinks. Now all the drinks are gone. Of course, the killer must have been thirsty. Of course, that explains it. How suspicious. What is this? This is suspicious, I think. Did you find some kind of clue? See? You know, the footprints from earlier? They were in front of the entrance facing the beach, right? Oh, that. Well? Hajime and Kazuichi's footprints show that you guys are the first to go inside the beach house. But these footprints are the opposite. They're coming out of the beach house. Hey. Now that you mention it, I thought those footprints were strange too. You did? Uh. At first, I tried to go into the beach house from the door facing the road, but it didn't open. So I went around and tried to go from the beach house, the beach side door. You couldn't go inside from the roadside door because Mihiru's body was blocking it, right? Hmm. And that's when I noticed these, those footprints. The footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel look like they belong to one person. Someone's footprints leading outside the beach house? That's definitely suspicious. I don't think it's suspicious. I think either going out, but the door is blocking. So, wait, that doesn't make sense. Was Hyoko, I feel like Hyoko and like Mahiru might have had like an argument or, or Hyoko found the body and then just ran away. But what was she carrying? I don't know what she was carrying. I don't know. Uh, someone's footprints leading out of the beach house, huh? That's definitely suspicious. I think you mentioned it. Peko said there was a little. They went. She went for a little swim, right? Could those footprints be? Unfortunately, I went swimming to scout the first beach. I do not know anything about this beach. Is that really true? But these footprints lead straight from the beach house to the tunnel. Since I was swimming at the beach, of course my footprints would lead from the shore to the tunnel. Then whose footprints are these? What if I don't have a memory of the goldfish? Of course they're Hyoko's. It's no mistake that these are the killer's footprints, but I have no clue who that might be. Well, for now, it's obvious that this is a clue, don't you think? Yeah, it's probably an extremely important clue. I should check the camera. Maybe she took a picture. It's probably too much to ask that she just took a picture. Also, there's a face mask. Mihiru's body? What is this mask? Let's talk to everyone before we investigate the body. Perhaps. Mihiru probably 
Uh, am I been saying it wrong? Is, is I forgot how to pronounce it. It was like I, I've been saying Mahiru. Is it Mahiru? I forgot. I don't know. Uh, Mahiru probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. However, I think it's Mahiru. Uh, but what she really wanted, she probably wanted to spend time with all of us peacefully without something like this happen happening. They said it. I've been. I think I've been saying Mahiru. And then they said it in game and they said Mahiru. I, see. I will never forgive killing. Hmm? However. Chiaki seemed quite different from her usual self. She must feel very strongly about killing. That's that it's not just Chiaki. There's no way anyone would forgive something like this. I guess you're right. Anyone. I speak for everyone. I am the moral police. And no one would forgive killing under any circumstance, even if we were all forced to kill each other and pushed to this event. Never. Mahiru? You said Mamhiru. I feel like that was a typo. According to the Monokuma file, the fatal blow to this dealt with a blunt object. Yeah, that's definitely a blunt object. Is this metal bat, right? Huh? This metal bat. It's the same as the Twilight Syndrome murder case. <gasps> you played the game. She played the game. She just admitted to playing the game. Huh? Well? There's a girl named Girl E who was killed in the game during the fourth day. That, that's, that's a real picture. It's so off-putting. It's so weird and gross. I don't like looking at it. That girl was killed with a blow from a metal bat just like Mahiru. Mahiru. Fucking hell. Did you, did you also play that game, Hajime? Is that why you're curious about the metal bat? Yeah, that's exactly it, but... So everyone played this game. Did you play it too? Then I'm sure you know this, but... This case... The case this time is strongly connected to the Twilight Syndrome murder case, I think. In order to solve the mystery behind Mahiru's... Mahiru... Mahiru... Mahiru's death, you probably need to solve the game's mystery too. But even if you solve the game's mystery, all the clues in it were lousy and useless. I mean, it started ambiguously, and it was still ambiguous when it That's ended. Wrong. That's because you hadn't beaten the game. Beaten? I finished the game with a game over, but you were able to beat it? Mm. I'm not some gamer girl who talks about games she's never beaten. Yeah. What the fuck? What is this dialogue? So what am I supposed to do? Actually beat the game? Well, she's beaten the game. Why do I need to beat it? I can't stop thinking about that for some reason. But for now, I should focus on this investigation. So it's okay to say that this metal bat was absolutely the murder weapon, right? Yo, why do I need to beat the game? Why is she throwing shade at me? What the fuck? I'm not judging her. Ah, uh, girl beat the game. Impossible. I'm a hero. My hero. This is too weird. Something this weird should only happen in song lyrics. Wow, she was useless. Let's investigate the mask. Huh? What's this? Is this a mask? Did someone bring this from the toy section of the supermarket? Or maybe party goods? Regardless, why is this even here? I feel like maybe... Hiyoko brought the mask. I don't think the killer used it to conceal their face. I think maybe that was just a mask that, like, Mahiru... I mean, uh, Hiyoko was wearing. Because she was here. I think she has, like, some part to do with, like, this, but not, like, the killer. Not like she was the killer. Did the killer wear that to conceal her face? No, they totally stand out. I mean, it's such a gaudy mask. Um, a gaudy mask? Huh? huh? That mask. You've seen this? Sun Witch Esperito. Is she speaking Spanish? It's a super fun anime with viewership surpassing 90%. In my country, 90% of viewers. An anime that has a viewership of over 90%? Is Sonya's country really alright? Holy fuck. Uh, could it be? Was that mask placed next to the body? Yeah, it was. If that's true, could it be? Could it be I'm what? Sorry. Please give me some time. There's a serial killer on the loose! Don't tell me that this, this fucking mask represents some sort of serial killer. Yo, Toga Himoko. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Hey, Kyrie, what's up? For reasons unknown, Sonya rushed out of the beach house. What's with her? It, it looks like she knows something. 
In that case, I shall wait until uh, she decides to talk about it. Uh, hmm. For Sonya to be so worked up, it must be wor for something. It must be something big. Yo, Jack in Jack and Dodge Live. Thank you for the host, dude. Hope you had a good stream. Thank you, dude. Um, for Sonya to be so worked up, it must be something big. Uh, I wonder what she knows. That mask did remind me of Sailor Moon. A uh, pretty girl, pretty anime girl mask. Pretty anime girl. This girl looks like she's seven. Uh, okay, let's investigate the body. She lost all life in her body. It's as if she's a shell. Is this really the energetic Mihiru I knew? I see her laying in front of me. But I still can't believe it. I can't connect this lifeless body to the high-spirited Mihiru. What do you mean high spirit? She was so mean to me all the time. But we don't have time to wallow in this sentiment. What am I talking about? She was always yelling at me. Um, there's no way I can just stand here. I slapped both of my hands to my cheeks and faced Mihiru's body one more time. Mihiru is leaning against the beach house door that leads to the road. She leaned on the door like this. It would have been impossible to open. Maybe Mahiro tried to run away when she was attacked and tried to crawl to the door. Evidence can be seen in the bloodstains on the floor. The streaks as if she crawled through them. So she used all of her energy to crawl away and leaned, leaned against the door and took her last breath. For someone as headstrong as her to run- Don't say headstrong. Why would I say headstrong when she was bashed in the head with a baseball bat and killed? Wrong terminology. Uh, she must have really felt- She must have felt really death- desperate. Why would I say headstrong? What the fuck is wrong with me? Yeah, she's really headstrong. You can see how strong her head was as she took against a bat. God, Hajime is such a fucking idiot. God, Hajime is so fucking stupid. Holy my god! Uh, let's check the trash can. I tried to check the trash can. What's... Where's her camera? Did, 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 did fucking Hiyoko take her camera? Maybe there's a clue inside the trash can. Oh, there's all the drinks. What is that? Just, that's what I thought, but... There's only a bunch of empty plastic bottles. I don't see anything that looks like a clue. Except all of the empty bottles. What do you use all, all these bottles for? I guess it's not that easy, huh? What is that? Trash can has been added to the truth section bullets. Is that just water? Are those full water bottles? Weird. There's a lot of drinks inside the refrigerator, but compared to the last... Oh, the whole top shelf is gone. Compared to the last time, I feel like there's less drinks. Did people take a lot of drinks from here? Not only that, the only drinks left here in here that look like sweetened or colored. Oh, someone said that they hate colored drinks, didn't they? They look unhealthy. Who hated colored drinks? Is that a spoiler? Someone said it. Someone hid in the closet. Someone was hiding in the closet. The closet door is half open. The last time I came here, that wasn't the case. I forgot who said that. Uh, there's a little... It's That's a little suspicious. I should probably investigate inside here too. But also, exactly. Hydrate. Don't drink colored drinks or unhealthy drinks. Always drink water. This is the closet? I thought it was like a fucking two inch deep closet. Um, this is a pretty spacious walk-in closet. There's so much crap on the shelves and floor, only one person can stand in here. But if you think about it this way, it means it's possible for only one person to stay in here. Any clues? Any clues? What is this? A gummy? This is Hyoko. Uh, hmm, there's something on the floor. The yellow thing, it's a gummy candy. Finding candy on the floor in a place like this is clearly unnatural. If it's connected to the incident, did someone drop this while they were inside the closet? Here's what I think. I think Hiyoko was hiding in the closet, potentially wearing a mask, wanting to scare her BFF Mahiru. And then while she was hiding in the closet, nomin on some gummies, the killing took place. She dropped the gummy. Out of fucking shock. The killer left. She fucking like picked up her thing and then ran. That's what I think happened. If it's connected to the incident. Someone dropped the gummy while inside the closet. That's what I think happened. 
Uh, there's a Monokuma. I was looking for a Monokuma. Where? These, where the fuck is Monokuma? There he is. What a cunt. Why did she get the emergency meeting? She didn't. She just ran away. She didn't, yeah, there's like no emergency meeting. She just ran away crying and then like got no one. She ran away crying holding something. So she definitely, I feel like, witnessed it. Shelves. What is this? Uh, flotation devices. That's not a flotation device. The fuck is that? Uh, snorkels, nets. There's also some paint supplies too. Hmm, there's not much else that could be related to the incident. Yeah, that's what they all say. That's what they all say. What is this? There's a lot of stuff jammed onto the shelves, even surfboard and surfboard cases. But there's not, they're not put away properly. Two boards are stuffed onto one shelf. And some boards have been left outside instead of being put in the case. Whoops. Uh, and there's also an empty surfboard case as well. Jeez, how careless. I guess that's everything inside the closet. Okay. Oh, there's a donut. A donut flotation device? Ow, he would want that as a gift. Ow, he's one of the... Wow, he wants that gift. Ha! What else? Huh? Did I investigate everything? The door. Mihiro's leaning against the door. I couldn't open it. Okay. Shower room? So this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or under construction or something like that. That's right. The shower's being repaired, so water won't come out. What about hot water? Well, that's impossible, too. If the shower is out of order, then it's just a waste of space. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, just as I was planning to fix it, my magic stick was taken from me. So I never got around to fixing it. What the heck? Why does your magic stick have to do with repairing? So evil. Anyways, it's all Monokuma's fault. Everything is all Monokuma's fault. Ooh. Ooh, uh, your doubtful eyes are telling me... You think I'm Monokuma's accomplice? Yes. You must have read my mind. Yeah, I think you're a fucking sus. You're the most sus out of every one of us here, including the murderer. Think what you want of me. I've already given up. But let me tell you this one more time. As long as you guys work together, you should be able to stand against any kind of despair. I promise I will help with that. What help? You're doing the opposite. Oh, well, anyways, it looks like the shower room is definitely out of order. The shower room is out of order. There's a ton of water bottles in the trash. Water was used for something. I don't know what the fuck water could have been used for. Uh, but I guess I should check the inside, too. Uh, the shower room. I don't know what the water bottles... Wait, did someone wash? Did someone drown? Or how do you drown someone with 17 water bottles? That doesn't make sense. Whose shadow is this? Oh, that's the shadow of a plant. I was like, what is this shadow? Who's standing here? Anything else? I think that's it. You might simply think that I haven't investigated. What's wrong with me? And where? The bench? Pecco. Pecco, stop. Pecco! What happened? Oh, the blood stain. Uh, there's a blood stain on the floor and they streaked as if she crawled through them. They probably streaked for more mono Mahiru tried to run away during the incident. So she used all of her energy to crawl away and took her last breath as she was leaning against the door. Yeah, I think so too. Is that it? There's still my there. What haven't I just analyzed? The chandelier. Dude, there's a billion things. I can't see what I need to investigate. Yeah, done the closet. Talk to Peko. Talk to Kazuichi. Talk to Ibuki. Let's talk to him again. Now that I've checked the thing, what happened to the drinks in the refrigerator? I said it's... I just said it's okay. I resolved it on my own. And so does sus. So does sus. What? Shower room again? Shower room again? Might as well check the... Oh, I guess I might as well check the inside of the shower room. Oh, I didn't ever would have thought of that. Thanks, dude. <laughs> oh, Akane. I never would have thought of that. Uh, I checked the shower room. They're like, don't go in there. It's it's, it's it's under repair. Holy shit. Uh, is this really... This is a really nice, really spacious shower room. If this is huge... 
If it's this huge, you could use it as a dressing room. But changing in the beast house is forbidden. Jeez, what an unreasonable rule. True. Maybe Mahiru and Hyoko took another shower together with the water bottles. Maybe that's what happened. <laughs> hey, Akane, did you discover anything? Hmm, guess no one's in here. I was thinking the killer was hiding in here after they failed to escape. It wouldn't be that easy. No, it wouldn't be that easy. Oh, window. There's a window. It's small, but maybe you can crawl out of it somehow. Yeah, but it's barred. It probably doesn't mean anything if someone can crawl through it. But I can't seem to take it off my mind. However, the ceiling is really high, so that window is also situated in a very high place. So it's... It's so high that even if I stretched out my hand, I can't reach it. It's probably about nine feet up. And not just that, it's an iron barred window. If that's the case, yep, it'd be impossible to go in and out through there. What? What? Are you still thinking about that window? Yeah, I was thinking the killer might have escaped through Leave there. All right, I got it. I'll pitch in and help you out. Huh? Then. Come on, give me a piggyback ride. I'll check out the window for you. Pitch in and help. I feel like I'm the one who's pitching in and helping. I'll pick you up. If you don't hurry up, I'll punch you. She's really into this. No matter what I say, it's not going to matter. Fine, I'll just leave it to you. <laughs> Don't worry, my panties are clean. I know, you gave me some of them earlier. I see, that's good. I let out a deep sigh and bent over under the window. All right. All right. As she shouted, Akane jumped onto my shoulders. Oh. Oh my. I forgot she wears a skirt as well. Oh my god. That's not the sound of me struggling to lift her. Hey, your balance sucks. Make sure your stance is wider. Okay. Y you yes, ma'am. A lot heavier than I expected. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, cause I'm so buff. Like every time I get a massage, they tell me I'm just a mass of muscles. I can see that. A massage, huh? Do you have a trainer or something? Since you're the ultimate gymnast. Nah, I don't have a trainer. My stepmom's lovers like to get drunk and give me full body massages. Ah, stop with this sad fucking story. I hate hearing like, it's like, ah, just tell me you have a masseuse. I'm telling your fucking mom's boyfriends are fucking feeling you up. I shouldn't have asked. So, how's the window? Every fucking, so far, Mikan and, and Akane have been taken advantage of by people in their lives. Let's see. Hmm. See, see. So that's what happened. Did you find anything? Well, since there's this iron bar, I was pretty sure no one would be able to get through the window. But... Check it out. Ch check it out? Hold on. I'll give it a try. Hyo Hyoko could have is so small, she could have fit through there, maybe. With Akane on my shoulders, I craned my neck so high that I started to worry. What about the bars? What happened to the iron bars? How did this happen? This iron bar ain't even pinned down. Looks like you can open and close it pretty easy. Holy shit. See? My head can fit through, no problem. Oh, you don't even need to squeeze through. <laughs> it's not impossible to go in and out of that window. Yep, yep. Shit. I kind of jumped off my shoulders and flashed a wide grin. <laughs> Isn't this a big discovery? But the problem is, how were they able to reach that window? Hmm. Even if I jumped, I can't really reach it. <laughs> But if two people work together like us, it wouldn't be a problem. Dude, do not tell me that this is a fucking double killer assassination murder. An accomplice? Oh no, if that's the case, it would mean that the killer had an accomplice. Huh? Accomplice? Sounds like a big word. Is that the name of a kung fu master? I don't even have one suspect, let alone two. But even if there was an accomplice, the person acting as the step stool would still be inside. Like... Unless you had a rope. But if you really think about it, just one person can get out of here without help, right? Huh? Really? So, yeah, like, a freaking ninja could do it, you know? A ninja can climb fences and walls. Don't throw shade as onto Pekko. Pekko would not slide, slice someone down with a baseball bat. They would slice them down with a sword. Obviously, I would be uh, very clearly her if she did that. But at least she would stay honored to her sword. Huh, just as I thought. It looks difficult to go in and out through that window. Why? What the heck? I even took time to lend you my wisdom. Me off. You're the one who said it was suspicious, so I took time to pitch in and help. You. It was such a waste of time to help you out. All you saw were my panties. I didn't see it. 
Sadga. Uh, as well. Uh, oh well, it's not like it's the end of the world. Maybe. Uh, I'm telling you, I didn't look at them. It's fine. This is why I like Akane. This is why I like Akane. Uh, I guess that's pretty much everything I noticed in this shower room. I guess I've been finished investigating all that I can. It's just the window, but there's still not enough. Just from the clues here, I don't think I have enough to find the truth. Looks like I should try investigating that again to find out why Mahiru got killed. Twilight Syndrome murder case. Stop showing this picture. I hate it. This is, the, like, this is such an awkward picture. It makes me feel uneasy. Girl E was killed in that game by a single blow from a metal bat. Metal bat. That's the same weapon that was used to kill Mahiru. That there's no way that it's just a coincidence, right? Actually, in truth, this game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a reoccurring theme for mysteries, right? It's like a hidden connection. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. A missing link. If that's the killer's motive for the killing this time, then that mystery must be hidden inside that game. Plus, the one person who might might know about that mystery is standing right next to me. Akane. Oh. Chiaki. I should ask her about it. A metal bat has been added. Is there not a Monokuma in here? I feel like there should be. I guess not. But the toilet. How did your investigation of the toilet go? There's a toilet, but you can't really use it as a step stool. But you really can't use it as a step stool? I mean... You can use it. You can use the toilet to get onto the top of the shower to then get to the window. I, un, untrue. There's like multiple ways. Or the fucking desk. Just up here. Maybe you could put your foot on this and then like, I don't know how thick this is. But uh, if not, you just g jump and grab this and then jump out there like a ninja. Oh shit. It could parkour. Also, there's a light. Depending on how sturdy that light is, you can get on that light. Especially if, if you're like not the size of Nekomaru. If you are like the size of Hyoko and very light, you can do it. Hey, Chiaki, I wanted to ask you. Uh, there's something I wanted to ask you. Are you okay right now? Um. Are you done investigating here already? Huh? I think I finished investigating once through. Once. I think I finished investigating once yep. through. Well, then let's go. Go. Oh. You want to know about Twilight Syndrome, right? Then I think you should actually play it yourself. Let's so let's go. Why do I gotta play it? I get, I get I'm the main character, but I'm not the ultimate gamer here. This is like a task. I'm not gonna, it's like, here's the mystery. The, uh, the ultimate, the ultimate photography. Don't tell, don't make me take photographs. Have the ultimate photographer take photographs, even though she's dead. That was a bad example. Ah, oh, shit, I'm, I'm exactly like Hajime. Bad examples left and right.